It's that time of year again where the roads get busier due to kids heading back to school. The whole community is going to change next week, all of the roads, so really get your head in the game. With the change in traffic on the roads, ICBC and the Fort St. John RCMP want to remind the public about laws regarding driving in school zones and overall road safety. The week before classes start is the best time to start thinking about road safety, especially for parents. It's a great opportunity to review the rules of the roads with your children, but also practice the route going to school. As of next week, the school zone speed of 30 kilometers per hour will come into effect. Lynn Sangin says drivers need to pay attention to their speed in these zones because yearly children in the province are injured. Every year about 80 children are injured in crashes in uh, schools or playground zones every year. Even though school zones are only active throughout the school year, Shelke says drivers need to remember that playground zones operate differently. Playground zones are different from school zones and they're in effect all year long from sun up to sundown. So you still need to slow down in all the playground zones even if the school's not in and on weekends. And of course speeding in these zones does have consequences. If you're caught speeding in a school zone, the fine could range between $196 to $253. Failing to yield to a school bus is $167. And then speeding in a playground zone is the same as a school zone as well. For the start of school, Shelke says enforcement officials will be actively monitoring school zones in the region to ensure the public is safe on the roads. Both our Peace Region Traffic Services and the Fort St. John RCMP, we're going to be out in school zones. And um, we're just there to offer a presence, to remind people again, you know, when they see a police car, oh yeah, we need to slow down. As well, we'll be um, um, doing enforcement. Carissa Wilson, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John.